Make it, Mr. Makeup. Now we're ready to make our picture by using these arty things. Some sheets of white paper. Some water. A washing up sponge and a bowl. Some food colouring. Some brushes and some pens. Some salt. Some scissors and a glue stick. And last but not least, we also need a tennis racket. A, a tennis racket? We don't need a tennis racket. Scraps? How did you get here? We don't need one of these, but we do need some stickers, please. So take the racket back. Go on. That's it. Now be careful. Be careful. That's it. Oh, brilliant. Well done, Scraps. Thank you. We've got some stickers. Now we've got everything we need, but it feels like something's missing. Do you know what it is? I'm here, Mr. Mega. Madeline, of course. It's you. Thank you very much for coming. Now you're just in time because we're going to make our picture like this one here. It's a salty sea picture. Now this can get a little bit messy, so it's a good idea to put down some newspaper or some old paper first. And Madeline, I think we should put on some aprons. Does that sound like a good idea? Yes. Okay, then lead the way. Here we go. Oh, look at us. Now, Madeline, are you ready? Yes. Brilliant. Are you ready? Fantastic. Let's get making. Now, the first thing we're going to do is turn our plain white paper into some patterned paper. Let's use a sponge and some water for this. That's it, Madeline. Now, make the paper nice and wet. And whilst it's still wet, we're going to need some of this stuff. It's food colouring. Now, you can buy food colouring from a food shop, but you might have some at home already, so ask a grown-up to help you. First, we're going to use blue food colouring and spread it onto the paper. Now, whilst everything is still wet, it's time for our special ingredient, salt. Here it is. And when we sprinkle the salt over the wet food colouring, it leaves an amazing pattern behind. Now, you can sprinkle this ordinary salt, or you could even use this. <laughs> Rock salt. <laughs> Let's try this, Madeline. Sprinkle rock salt wherever you like. It comes in much bigger pieces and it leaves bigger marks on the paper. When you've finished sprinkling, leave it to dry. <laughs> We've made lots of different colours of paper like this and brushed off all the dried salt. We're ready to start drawing now, Madeline. And what shall we draw? Um, seaweed and some fish. Seaweed and some fish. That's a great idea. I'll tell you what, why don't you take this pink paper, and let's get drawing. When you finish drawing, carefully cut everything out. <laughs> Remember to keep one piece for your background. Now we can arrange all of the pieces in our picture. <laughs> and when you're happy with your picture, glue everything down. We've finished. We've even added some stickers for eyes and mouths.